Uh, Mr. President, uh, you recently assumed the position of being the chairman of Summit for the East African Community. Um, tell us about your focus as you take this community forward. You know, now East African Community is like one family. Effort must be at the base, the base is peace and the security. And they already made decisions about peace, security and stability in East African community. As you know, if there is no security, we can't do business, we can't not do business. Also, to continue our, our way to, to create the common market and also to go to the way to the Federation of East African Community. Yes, Mr. President, uh, the region is currently facing insecurity, especially in the DRC by the rebels of M23. Uh, we just find, want to find out from you, being the chair of summit, how fast are you going to handle this problem? We already organized three conclaves to analyze together how we can save the people of DRC. And uh, the last summit urged all the state member to deploy their forces. We already signed the agreement for the East African Community Force. And we, I, I urged all the state member to deploy their force because now each country know his sector of operation. Burundi was the first to send the force. With Uganda also, we support the Nairobi initiative for dialogue to bring back peace in DRC. And you know that uh, M23, the researchers of that group came after, after the conclave, and um, I think that there was another process before for M23, and um, it will continue to follow. Also, you know that there is a, an, an agreement on peace and security in DRC and uh, the region. In February, we are planning the summit of the head of states, so we will analyze together also how to manage that group, M23. But now we are in the way of dialogue, and every group, every community is committed to continue that way of dialogue. Yes, the border between Burundi and Rwanda has been closed for a number of years now, and this has impacted on the local people. They cannot move, yet the treaty allows them to move freely from one country to another, do business. Um, as a president of Burundi, how are you helping this process? So Burundi, as I said, will not be the part of problem. Burundi will always be the part of solution. We are in a dialogue and it remains a small problem and they will resolve it also. Currently, there are cases of Ebola in Uganda. Mr. President, being a chair of summit, how are you working it out to ensure that this problem is tackled regionally? Uh, at the border, we must manage the area where we can do the test. And also, in prevention, the East Africa Secretariat have already offered the mobile laboratories so that we can face that disease. Yes, Your Excellency, uh, some human rights activists in Burundi have been raising concern about the way they are being treated in Burundi. And, of course, previously, um, uh, your government had been put on sanctions, and this affected uh, your country. We create the culture of good governance, fight against corruption, and then our history protection of human rights is our culture. And uh, to prevent, to protect myself, uh, my phone number is known by all the people. 
so that they can denounce everything. So I can tell you that now Burundi is a country good managed and there is any problem, but there is some NGO who want to do business to tarnish the image of Burundi because of that history. Your last take, Mr. President. I wish each country, each member state, to be in peace so that when we are stable is when the economy will grow. Thank you, Your Excellency, the President of Burundi, Evaristine Daishimie. We are glad hosting you here at NTV. Thank you very much.